No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a... Well, the atmosphere, Peter, certainly doesn't feel like a friendly. We all know about the quality we have on show here, so... Massive leap! Lindelof. Mount. Some really good ball movement. And the shot! Well, it always comes down to the telling final pass, and that was a beauty. By a mute. Now it's Rashford. Out to the right. Cross goes in there. Keepers dealt with that. Rashford wins the duel this time. Don Nacho. He's in. He's got the shot away. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Rashford, it's Rashford, and it's in, two up and threatening to pull clear. Manchester United clearly executed that with considerable confidence, it only took seconds to score once the ball was recovered. Manchester United take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either... Can he finish? They are rampant! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. Goal! Number 11. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So no shortage of thrills, no shortage of fireworks, but all very one-sided. We appear perhaps headed for a cricket score at this rate, unless there is a significant change in fortune. It is 3-0 at half-time. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Manchester United are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. So we're already into the second period. Can he get on to this? Oh, it's opened up for Coleman! So, what can they make of this? Good spot, he's seen the run. And he's, he's through and all alone! Turns and there's the shot! Keeper's got his work done. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. It's their second corner of the game. Last ditch defend. No foul, says the referee. Goretzka cuts it out. Oh, lovely bit of skill. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Yeah, listen, we often get critical of a, a forwards tackle, but that was squeaky clean. It's one! It's in! Surely now they are well and truly out of sight.
Well, there's always a chance of being caught like that when you surrender the football. And yes, it's him again. Number 10, Marcus Rashford. It's become a case of men against boys. And it's Goretzka. It's Kimmich. He's found the way through. Musiala! Oh, that's horribly mistimed. And it's given. Penalty. Manchester United present their opponents with the best possible chance here. They've played it short, and it's Gnabry. Shots on him. Real chance! Davis kept his eye on it, and he's there. Six added minutes. Has he's been left indicated. his man. He's, he's had a shot! And that interception was most necessary done delicately nice interception his positioning was spot on a terrific atmosphere here there is great expectation excitement and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience it's quite a struggle to get in here points of access hard to come by and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the casuals who've just come to enjoy it well with nothing resting on this peter there's the shot goal paris saint-germain and paris saint-germain take the lead barcelona really were asking for trouble there by failing to cope with a, a formidable press So, a breakthrough, or Kimi does well to get it back. Hakimi did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. It's the belly! A real chance and a real let-off. Hernandez. It looks very much like they'd be happy to settle for this narrow lead at the break. Great ball! Dembele! And that's caused a worry or two. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Now Cancelo. Two added minutes has been indicated. Has a shot! Keeper pulls up a fine save. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. So there we are, half time. Both teams head into their respective dressing room. And while there was a genuine flow about the game, most importantly, there has been just one telling moment. It is still very tight here. The game still up for grabs. And the half time score 1 0. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? Paris Saint Germain clearly are benefiting from their homework. They've dealt with anything that's been thrown at them and have been smart on the break.
Paris Saint-Germain, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time. Can he finish? It's, it's come back out! They've done it! Barcelona are back in business! And he's only too grateful to capitalise on the keeper's misfortune. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. The goal scorer for Barcelona after 51 minutes is number 32. And, oh, that's well spotted. He's a sharp little ball here. Oh, he's trying to skip past his man. Oh, he's played, and the finish! Goal, Barcelona! And the comeback is complete! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. The goal scorer for Barcelona after 62 minutes is number seven. Duran Torres. Time then for the first substitution of the game. Rafinha to come on. A change that had been mooted for a while. Progress. Yeah, he's looking for instructions. Probably something along the line. Vitinha. Aimed beyond the defence. He's had a shot. Barcelona clearly now in lead preservation mode. And no, that was never going to make it. Five minutes to add. Vitinha, Gonzalo Ras shapes the shoot! And there goes the final whistle. Paris Saint-Germain have some...